Hello, this is Ben Lewis. And this is Suzanne Blier, and we're at Harvard University, and we're associated with WorldMap. And today we're going to show you how to add features and link to those features images and videos. Yeah, we're going to create a layer in, in WorldMap and then um, take it away. Great. So what you see now is the World Map site, and we're going to go to Create a Map, which is on the left. And World Map is worldmap.harvard.edu. And the layer we're going to create is on Nigerian music. So Ben went to add a layer. And uh, I'm just going to go in, and there are several ways of adding a layer to World Map. Um, one of the ways is to actually create it in World Map by digitizing points or lines or polygons directly on the map, and that's what we're going to do. So I, I went to add layers um, and create layer, and I'm going to give my, the layer a name. I'm going to call it Nigerian Music, and um, I'm going to leave the title blank. Um, I'm going to have this be a point layer. It could also be a line or a polygon layer. And then but po points work better if you're adding images or, or YouTubes generally. Right. And uh, my abstract is going to be very simple. It'll be uh, Nigerian music. And I guess I do need a title here. I'm just going to call this music of Nigeria. And I need a keyword. Keep it simple. And we can and add Yoruba because we're going to focus on largely on Yoruba. Yeah. And uh, notice over on the right, we can set permissions for the layer we're creating. So the default is for anybody in the world to be able to view the layer you're making. Um, and only people, uh, the only people who can edit will be list, need to be listed here. Right now, there's nobody else listed. So uh, and because I'm logged in as me, I'll be the only person who can edit this layer once I create it. But I could easily share that edit permission with Suzanne at any time. And then we and then add others as well. Yeah. And uh, so I have to agree to the terms and conditions. I won't go into those here, but they just uh, basically say that you promise not to do bad things with the system. So I'm going to click Create. And now the system is going to uh, build the layer on the server, get everything ready, and then give us back a, a form that we can use to describe the layer. And this is going to be a very simple layer, so we're not going to go into a lot of detail, though we could. And, and we recommend that for most, for any important data that you upload to WorldMap or create on WorldMap, uh, that you document it thoroughly. And the material that we're adding, we've, we basically found on the web, and we'll I'll show you how, how to bring that in. And there's really just one additional piece of description that we have to add. I'm skipping over uh, all of the possible things that we could uh, use to describe the data. And uh, the only additional thing we absolutely have to put in is the category. And so this should we say? Society, yeah, I think society. that works as well. Um, here we could configure how the, the data behind the system uh, looks when you click on it. I won't ch make any changes here either right now. I'm just going to say update. And So now we're ready to begin. First of all, let's zoom to the area of, of uh, Nigeria, the area of the world that we're focused on. Sure. So we've got this blank layer now. It's, it's up here on the left. There's nothing in it, though. It's all ready to go. So let's zoom in. What part of Nigeria? And this, is, this is right. This is all the right. southwestern okay. part, which is the Yoruba area. Okay. And what we're going to do first off is to save our map. So once you've zoomed into the uh, um, extent that you want, you click Save. And then let's give it a name. We can call this Nigerian Music. Nigerian Music. And this, um, this map that we're saving is, is the whole view. Um, you're, we're putting a layer in the view called Music of Nigeria, but this whole view and any other layers we put in it will be, uh, our, we're calling the map, and uh, we're calling that map Nigerian Music. And I can choose my URL here as well, so um, Nigerian underbar music perhaps for the URL. Great, and if you don't add something here, it'll give you a number automatically. 
we're adding a short description. And keywords. And that, that's important in part because it'll provide you with the terms for searching. You can change whatever you'd like in here as well just to provide a different perspective on what is important to you when you're putting together your particular map. And we've provided you with the means to change various aspects of the style of what you're adding. And at the very end, you want to save that. So right here, clicking the Save button. And that's basically how easy it is to save a map. Of course, we don't have anything in it yet. OK. Well, soon that so will change. let's create a feature. OK. So create a feature. We highlight the layer that we want to put the feature in, and then click Create Feature. And the first uh, uh, material we're going to add is uh, Fela Kuti uh, YouTube. And he was born in Abiokuta. So we're going to add the feature to that important Yoruba Center. And uh, that will bring up this particular um, box. And we're going to add a name to this. So this would be Fela Kuti. And um, then uh, you click in the box, and it will return this particular form. You want to click in the, in the middle of it. Click in the blank area and get it to highlight. And then we'll click on HTML. And this is how we're going to actually embed a video in our map feature. And before beginning, we went to YouTube and found a, a good video. And that's what we have here. And uh, at the bottom, you'll see the Share button, clicking on that, and then Embed. And we're going to copy uh, this particular embed code right after the BR. There we have it. And we're going to Submit Query. And that will bring this in here. Let's add a little text at the top. Okay. If I can spell it. And we can change the font size here, font type. And I'm going to save it. Of course, one could write other things before and after this. This could be the beginnings of, of a whole page here that you could use to describe this location in, in Abiyakuta. Right, and, add, and add other text. OK, now it's saving save it. it. OK. And oh, I'm also going to add a, a value here that we're going to use to symbolize this uh, data later. And it'll become clear uh, why I'm doing this. Um, I'm going to, so for string value, I'm going to call this modern. We're going to have two different kinds of music in this, in this simple layer. One will be modern and one will be traditional. And we'll use these values here to control the symbol. Right, and, and that'll appear in the label that we will create shortly. So now we're going to save this. So for this next um, data, we're going to create a new feature. And so creating feature, and we're going to put this one in Ibadan, which is another Yoruba city. Uh, this could actually be going almost anywhere, but Ibadan is a, is a good enough choice. And we're going to type in the name here of Talking Drum. And here again, we're going to click in the middle and add the HTML. And right below here, we're going to bring in information on the particular work. So here we did a search on Yerba Talking Drum. And, and we found one that was once part of the Hamel Gallery collection. Uh, this image here, and clicking on it, um, we get uh, to uh, information on the location of that, the so URL. I, so I just right-clicked on the image, and you can do this with any image on the web, m m many images on the web. Right-click on it, and depending on your browser, um, go to View Image Info. It might say different things in different browsers. This is Firefox. And uh, yeah, as Suzanne was saying, get the location and the size. These two pieces of information will uh, allow us to have this image show up in our map. OK. So I'm going to copy this. Right. And we can close that. And we can come 
back here. Uh, the other thing we're going to do, um, so I'm just going to paste this here for now. Okay. And um, we also had, um, we had this information about size. I'm just going to put this here as well. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to put it here. And now I've got a cheat sheet in case I don't remember the format of the image source URL I need to use, I can go to my help document, which is right up here in the upper right. And this is the document. I'm down on page 19 here. There's a whole table of contents so you can find what you need. And um, I'm going to grab this, um, this snippet right here and copy it. So I don't even have to go and retype it. And I'm going to put this right here. And if you if you see, I already this all this is already formatted the way I need it formatted. So you would take your information, your image location, and your size, and you'd put them into this format. And we'll submit the query, and there's the image. And now we can save that. We can give it. A, we can uh, also. Um, I'll just call it, it talking drum, and then put parentheses Hamel. In parentheses Hamel. Which gives the source, yeah. Like that. Right. And make it a little bit bigger, maybe. Okay, save that. Mm -hmm. And for this one, we're going to give a string value of traditional, right? Correct. Traditional, and save that. And so now we have two points. Excellent. So now we can uh, stylize yeah. the label yeah. differently. So now we're going to stylize the So right-clicking on Music of yeah. Nigeria. Right-click right on, on the layer. Going to Layer Properties. Layer Properties. Clicking on style. Style. And here we're going to, let's start with the label, labeling it. Yeah. So uh, you can, s you have a lot of control in world map for how your maps look. And all your, uh, all your symbols, all your symbology is done through rules. So when I create a layer, it creates one default rule. And right now it's a very simple one. It's just make this whole thing pink is what that rule says. So now I'm going to edit this rule and I'm going to, I'm selecting it. I'm going to edit it and I'm going to, I'm going to turn this rule into my label. So first of all, I'm going to call this rule label instead of what it is now untitled. And I'm going to um, go here to label and label the feature. And when I label the feature, I have a choice of which field in the database I want to use to label. So I'm going to use the name field. Remember, we put Fella Cootie and Talking Drum in there. And I'm going to make my font size a little bigger so it shows up. And there you see, that, see it showing up on the map. I could also do fancy things with the font and Halo, but I'm just going to leave it like that for now. Um, back here, I could even turn off my my point symbols. Um, actually, let, let's just leave them on for now. Um, and I'm going to save this. Okay, so now I have my point symbols with my labels. Now we're going to use the database to control the symbols of each of these. So we're going to have Felicuti be traditional. So I'm going to. Contemporary. Contem contemporary. Uh, modern, actually. And uh, so I'm going to add a rule, which is going to be, this is going to be a, a rule uh, that we're going to call modern. And this rule is going to be, um, what should it be? We'll say square. Sounds great. And um, maybe make it 15 in size. Let's see how that looks. 15. So that's, is that a good size? That sounds, looks great. Okay. And what color? Red. Make, it, make uh, the modern red. Okay. 
and so it's red on the outside, black on the around the outside. Um, let's make it like more of a gray on the outside, and I'll make it a little thicker. Okay, so there's our this is our modern symbol, right? Now, if we want this to, if you notice, both both features are getting the modern symbol because we haven't told it which ones to symbolize with modern. So now we're going to do that. So we're going to go to advanced and we're going to say limit by condition. And for modern, we want to say that everything with string value equals modern should have this red color, right? So string value equals modern. And now when I save it, only my modern one is red. So now I'm going to do the same with traditional. I'm going to add another rule. I'm going to select it. I'm going to edit it. I'm going to call this traditional. I'm going to give this a triangle. triangle. Um, green. green. And there's a green triangle. Let's see how it's looking. A little small. We could make it the same size as the other. I'll make it 15. Sort of about the same size. Notice again, it's coloring both with the green triangle because I haven't yet distinguished. So I'm going to go to advanced. I'm going to go to limit by condition. So what's the condition? The condition is that string value 1 needs to be equal to the word traditional. Now the power of this, of course, is that you could have thousands of traditional points and thousands of modern points and thousands of you could have hundreds of other different types, and each thing would always get the right, uh, the right symbology. So now I'm going to save this, and now I've got a green for my talking drum and a red for my uh, modern uh, fella cootie. Shall we save that? Sounds good. Okay. And do we still want, I would say label, we could just remove the symbol. We don't need that anymore. Exactly. We don't need that pink thing kind of showing up and getting in the way. So we just check, check. And so now it's just a pure label, and we've got our points uh, getting symbolized. So I'm going to save that. So okay. now let's look to see if it worked. Oh, yeah. So to, to see uh, what's behind your map, you click on Identify, and then click on your feature. And here we did that, and we've now got our... Let's, let's play, play, play it, yeah. Yep. Let's see if it works. So we can hear the sound. I don't know whether the sound is coming through in this uh, video we're making, but it does seem to be working. And let's check out Talking Drum. And here we have it here. Excellent. Great. And um, that's pretty much it, although if you click on legend, mm -hmm. that should show you basically the s symbology behind your label. Yeah. Uh, so you can see modern and traditional. And we can go back in and, and change uh, the actual label symbolism at, at any point if we would like. Yeah. Add new features, delete features. Make the triangle larger, whatever yeah. we would like. Oh, the other thing we can do, we can click here on edit, and um, we can actually we can actually move things around. Let's say we decided that uh, we didn't want, like the location of this, we could just put it right over here. See, so there it's now. We just changed the location of Talking Drum. Great. Great. So, hope you enjoy this, and we look forward to seeing other contexts in which you're adding images and YouTubes yep. to your own world yeah. map. Yeah, we want to see what you do now. Okay, talk to you later. Bye bye.